Hi, Megan. How are you today? Hi, good. Thanks for having me. Oh, thanks for being here. So thank you to the, uh, for you guys to, for viewing today. I have on Megan Conway, who is the founder, creator, and chief designer of Crave Your Home, which is a company that specializes in online design and includes creating the Ikea kitchen of your dreams. <laughs> Sounds so nice. I love when I go to Ikea. <laughs> so thanks for being here, Megan. Thanks for having me. Yeah. So we're going to walk, we're going to talk through what's happened over the last year for you. A lot has changed in your business and um, we're going to let everybody know um, where you were and where you are now because you've had a lot of success and this is going to be a great year for you. I'm super stoked. So tell everybody, um, Actually, tell everyone currently about your current business, and then we'll go back to where you were last year before you got to into this business. Okay. So my current business right now is um, all online-based interior decorating. Mm -hmm. So I offer online design packages um, that are at a certain set cost per room, and I also offer color consultations as well as IKEA kitchen design. Awesome. And you love what you're doing? I do. Yeah, I really, I really love it. It's, yes. Uh, See the sparkle in your eyes behind, the, <laughs> behind your glasses. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. So take us back. Uh, it was uh, actually, it's not even a full year ago. It was about no. eight, nine months ago. Yeah. And your yes. business was very different. So tell us um, where you were then and how you got there. And then, then what kind of the problems you were having at that time. Okay. So um, it was almost like a completely different universe that I was in. I had was transitioning from my day job, which was in scientific research. Right. I had just entered the entrepreneur world, mm -hmm. and I had started a business that was interior decorating based, but it was for seniors and people with disabilities. Right. So it merged my two worlds together, my scientific background and the interior decorating. Right. Which at the time, sounded like a perfectly log logical, fantastic idea. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we know where this is going. <laughs> <laughs> the only problem was I didn't have um, any desire to get up and do the business. <laughs> oh, that, that is quite the pickle. <laughs> so, so I found myself trying to motivate myself every day to get into this business and and do it basically. And I had all the resources that everyone has at their fingertips. You know, you can find information anywhere you need to, mm -hmm. to get your business going. But at the end of the day, I just didn't feel the excitement to actually work on the business. It right. was more of work for me. It was more of a chore. Right. And I, yeah, I just felt stuck. Yeah. that must be very frustrating. It was. And especially then when you're, you're starting out a business, there's so many fears around it anyway, and yeah. you're trying to get it so that you, you know, you have some money coming in because you're starting a business. Um, and then you can't get the clients and you don't know why you can't get the clients. You're doing all the marketing things that you're, you think are right and all that. But I knew there was something else. I knew there was a block that was there. Right. Why I couldn't get the clients. And it had nothing to do with my advertising or marketing skills or any of that stuff. I knew it was something within me and I couldn't figure out what it was. Right. So that leads us to when you and I started working together and tell us what happened for you in that process as you were going through, um, realizing something had to change to making the change. What, what were the things that kind of unfolded that for you? Um, well, I think I knew there was something that was in me that needed to change. I wasn't sure what it was. Right. And I wasn't sure if it was that it was a fear base around the business that, you know, go becoming a new entrepreneur, that it was just fearful and that I didn't have the confidence up to do the business. Yep. Um, or if there was something more that it wasn't really the right path for me. Right. So I have been following some of your videos, your free content and stuff. Mm -hmm. And so then I seen that you offered the program, change your story, change your results. Mm hmm. And I said, okay, if this is really something where it's fear-based 
and it's just a confidence issue, mm -hmm. or if it's something that is actually um, not the right path for me, the program, the way you describe the program, I said, this will let me know. I right. feel like if I do this program, I will have my answer at the end of it of what is going on here in this business. Okay. One way or the other. Perfect. So what happened that you felt found your answer? So we were on the call for abundance because one thing that you always say, which is so true, is that um, the surface issue is never actually the issue. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I went on the call saying, well, I can't get clients and I can't get any money to come into the business. Right. And um, during that call, it, you said, well, how do you feel about getting clients? And I said, well, I want to get clients but I'm afraid that if I get clients, I'm going to be busy and overwhelmed and not want to do the stuff that I enjoy. Mm. And right away, you're like, well, you, you said something that um, during the call that really clicked and you said, you should be doing something where you feel like you don't have to do it. You get to do it. Mm. Oh, that's so right? big. And it, it was, it was that light bulb. I was like, Oh, right. Like, it's still, even though I have the freedom now of the entrepreneur life where you get to decide what you want to do, when you want to do it, anything to do with that business still felt like work to me because right. there was still a resistance where anytime I had anything booked with a client or if I had time booked to work on it, it still felt like I was leaving my joy to go work on this business. Mm. And wow. so once, once you said that, I was like, oh, that's, that's what it is. But in order to do that, I, I had to first try out the business and make sure that it wasn't fear-based. And so you helped me with that too, because I remember I had gone to um, a uh, seniors kind of thing and had a giveaway with a jar of names, right? For the free consult. And I had, I had the jar sat on my desk for two weeks. I hadn't picked the name out of it. And you need to pick one. <laughs> yes, I remember that call. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're like, just, just pick a name and call them. <laughs> and so I was like, oh, okay, okay, I'll do it. So, and I did the consult. Yep. And so I knew that it wasn't fear. I was like, okay, I did it. It was fine. I enjoyed it. Um, but it wasn't, it didn't spark excitement in me to do it again. Right. So right. I knew then I said, okay, I had tried it. It wasn't just fear holding me back from it. It really was that I know this isn't where I want to go. Right. And so how did you get to move into online design plans and the Ikea kitchen home? Um, so I had started a, a, the business Crave Your Home while I was on maternity leave, mm -hmm. um, which was three years ago. And once my maternity leave was up and the, you know, you can imagine trying to start a business on maternity leave. Yep. That leave was up and the business wasn't taking in a whole lot of money. I just went back to my normal day job. Right. And I really felt like um, I wasn't fulfilled in that either. Mm -hmm. And so I knew the interior decorating was calling me back. But I think a big part of it to start the business with the seniors was I think there might have been a bit of, um, I don't know if shame is too, too harsh of a word, but there was definitely that feeling of you work so hard. Like, you know, you have a master's degree in neuroscience and you're giving that up and your university job with your pension and all your benefits to do interior decorating. And so in my mind, there was a part of me that felt not so much that I felt interior decorating was beneath the position I had because I knew I wanted to do it, but it was more how everyone else would view it. I right? think a lot of people can relate to that. Yeah, it was the people around you like, really, you're giving up, you know, the full-time pension benefits that you've worked so hard for. So what gave you the courage to do that? It was your comment. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it was. It was. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was. It was your comment that, you know, you just said you to do something, you get to do it. And you had said about, um, you had heard Oprah that day, mm -hmm. who at 34, which was the age that I am. Right. And at 34, she decided she was just going to do whatever made her happy and she wasn't going to listen to the peanut gallery anymore and what everyone thought she should do she was just going to be herself and that being herself has made her the money right 
And so it, it just turned it for me. It just said, yeah, you know what? Like I can keep going down this path that everyone says, you know, is good for me. And I, I know like I could have done well in that business too. Yes. Uh, but not as well and not as fulfilled as I feel now. Right. So tell us now what life looks like and what some of your accomplishments are. Cause I know you're now you've got lots of clients. You're got, you're getting more. I mean, your things are growing. It's good. like, tell us what's going on. Yeah. So it switched. We did that call and you said, okay, so like after this, just make the switch. And that was important too, because, um, it's one thing to make up your mind, but then you actually have to take the action to do it. Yes. Right. So right away I was like, okay, that's it. I completely switched. I switched over my Facebook um, page to create your home. My website, everything was automatically switched. And um, I started doing these videos at your suggestion too, for, you know, to go to thrift stores and weekly content. Yep. Yeah. Just film what I enjoy doing. Yes. Um, so I started doing that and posting them on social media and got a nice following with that. And then I just started advertising for the online design programs, the Ikea kitchen. And, um, and the Ikea kitchens came from, we did one in our own home and right. the cost saving was amazing and the quality I really like. So, um, that came out of that. And within, I mean, I switched over, I think to the end of July and by September, I had, I think, four IKEA kitchens booked. I had online design plans. Like my fall from September to December, I did um, six IKEA kitchens. I've done about five to six online design plans. Wow. Like it took off. Yes. Really quickly. Yeah. That is amazing. Amazing. And so, um, how does it feel now? How does your how do you feel about your business now and and about where it's going? Um, it feels like it's just an extension of me. It it doesn't even feel like it's necessarily a business. Like I just I enjoy finding the content to put up. I enjoy researching different products, sharing it on social media. Um, it's it's just a joy. It's one of those things now where when I go to work on it, it's fun and, and motivating and not something that, oh, I gotta go do that. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. That's amazing. And uh, I think there's a lot of people who would like to feel that way about their businesses and their jobs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you're quite the inspiration, which is um, why I'm so glad you're, you're telling your story. Um, so tell us now, do you think that you would have gotten here without joining the programs and working together? Absolutely not. I think if I hadn't, if I hadn't joined that program, I think I would have continued on with that business for a little while. Um, I don't think I would have had the client base even near what I have now. Mm. I, I may have had a couple of clients. I don't think there would have been that many. And I think I would have given up and gone back to my job. Wow. That's yeah. yeah. So the support was a really important part for you. Yeah, yeah. The support and um I think it was it was the fact that the course and and how you interact with people on the calls and then especially it gave me the permission to be who I wanted to be without worrying about how anyone else perceives it. Mm, that's huge. I just got like, ah, this yeah. is Yes. And you know, it's interesting that you say that because, um, um, in my role in playing with entrepreneurs, that's where I want them to go because that's where the magic is. Yeah. Because that's when the walls come down. That's when the fear comes down. That's when you're willing to take bigger risks, uh, and, 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 and you must be willing to do that. You must be willing to put yourself out there to take, you know, you're taking uh, risks in different areas and, and that's where the magic happens. <laughs> it's true. It's true. <laughs> yes. Awesome. So Megan, what advice would you give to someone who's thinking about working together? Um, I would say that if you find yourself in a position where you feel like you're doing what you're supposed to be doing for your business and it's still not going anywhere, 
or you feel like you have a block somewhere that you just don't know how to get through yourself, mm. then you're definitely the person to talk to. Because I feel like you work at a deeper level than being an entrepreneur and starting a business. Mm. I feel like you did more work with me and who I am and finding that and then bringing that to the business that I, I want it to be. Mm. That's a really, that's a really great way to verbalize it because um, of course my thing is you have to become the person who can run the business you want to have. Right. And that's the becoming process of allowing you out. So you said it really well. Thanks. <laughs> Amazing. Well, Megan, I have to tell you, I'm so happy for you and I'm so proud of you. And Thank I you. can't wait to see what happens for you in, in 2019. What a year it's going to be. Um, so thank you so much for being here and thank you for being a part of the program and taking action and really being an example of what's possible when you invest in yourself and your business and you follow through, do the work and you know take action and make it happen so congratulations thank you thank you thank you thank you <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome all right and thank you for watching and we'll see you next time bye